This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It is the 7th of July 2021 and I have some good news. Someone has made Pukara, sorry, Pukara. Pucara mod in DCS. This is the FMA Pucara, the Argentinian 70s light ground attack aircraft. So why am I so excited? Well, this one means something special to me. I have fond memories of my childhood, of aviation in general, and which is why I've sustained aviation all the way into my 40s now. And one of my most favourite memories from being a child was when my parents would take me to RAF Duxford, the Imperial War Museum, relatively close to where we live. Probably my biggest memory was either Hangar 2 or Hangar 3. I think they've moved it from Hangar 2 to Hangar 3, but it's literally this thing you're looking at here. It's an old, beaten-up Falkland Pucara. Now, I have no idea what it was. I just remember looking at it as a three-year-old and thinking, oh my God, is that probably the sexiest machine you've ever seen? Like with a backdrop of old Russian engines and neens and stuff. I mean, is there anything in the world better? And since then, I've had a giant chuff on for Pucara. And I've had no way of flying one because there's never been one in any video games as far as I'm aware. We now have Pucara! Why do I say it like that? Because as a three-year-old, I remember, well, I don't remember, but I was told reliably by my older brother and I would run around with my hands in the air going Pukara, Pukara, Pukara. So there we are, it's Pukara time. So this was of course used as well extensively in the Falklands conflict by the Argentinians. Twin engine turboprop, according to Wikipedia, about 1,000 horsepower each light attack CAS aircraft, treat it like a mini, mini, mini A-10 with two crew members. The tech is very low, we're talking early 70s at the end of the day, rockets, bombs. I think there was a missile it fired, but I don't think we've got it, at least at the moment. Guns are essentially the same as the Spitfire. Four times machine guns, two times Hispanos, who's a cannons. And for me, that's perfect. You will keep your stealth aircraft in your teapot. I'm going with Bukhara. Simba, how do you feel about Bukhara? Bukhara! There he is. See, we've got, we've got him. Okay, uh, enough gobbledygook. Let's show you Bukhara. So, we're going to show how to download it, how to install it, how to set your controls up, how to do a cold start, a good look around the cockpit at all the passive and active gauges and controls. Then we're going to take off and we're going to go and blow stuff up with Pukara. You will start here. I will, of course, give this link in the video description. It will almost certainly change as time goes on and I will endeavor to keep this link up to date as best I can. I'm going to click on Pukara. Ra. Feel free in the background, valued viewers, if you're watching this video, to say Pukara while well, it's downloading. And we've downloaded. That brings us one step closer to Bukhara. So we're going to go to our downloads. I've accidentally downloaded it twice because I'm silly, but click on that RAR. You can use WinRAR to open a RAR file. I think 7-zip will also open them. There's a little readme here, but it's nothing particularly exciting. One good, really good thing to point out, Bukhara does not need any modules in DCS to be purchased. You can use it independently if you want. That said, you should purchase modules. So we've got it here. Right click and copy files to clipboard. Okay, let's get out there. We're now gonna go into our saved games area. So C drive, users, your particular user. Saved games, DCS or DCS open beta, I suggest open beta. Uh, mods, if you don't have this folder, make it exactly as that. Within mods, aircraft, if you don't have this folder, make it exactly as that. And right click, paste, and you can see I've already got Bukhara in. That's it. I'm going to start up DTS World, the latest open beta version, 7 July 2021. Into the main menu. And if we scroll along, we should see Bukhara if it's installed correctly. Okay, and I'm looking there. Bukhara 0.1. This is a very early version, but it's still cool. So next, options up here. We're going to go to controls there. We're going to go here. Bukhara. We're going to set up our controls. So the first thing to do is go to all on the subcategories. I'm going to assume that you're all familiar with how to set DCS controls up. Now, the first thing it will do is have a good guess at setting your controls up, and it will get them all wrong. Keyboard, you can leave them. But in terms of your actual controllers, like my wing wing joystick, my ring wing station, my wing wing throttle, and my rudder, Go here and go clear category. Clear all of those categories because, like I said, it will get them wrong. Then go to axis and do exactly the same. All those four categories or whatever you've got in terms of controllers, clear them. And we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to start from the bottom because I like starting from the bottom. So zoom view if you can in the axis section. I've got a nice little kind of up and down axis on my wing wing throttle here. And so I've set it there. You can set wheel brakes left and right on axis. So you can do that. But I couldn't actually get them to work in game yet. Uh, do you agree with that Simba? 
I agree. So I'd probably just leave them off for now in that case then. Thrust, strangely, we've got two engines, but just one thrust lever. So that's how it is. So obviously set that to one of your, uh, or your only thrust lever. Rudder, you need to set to your rudder pedals or just notice my rudder pedals are not working properly. Look at that. They don't go fully left. Yet another set of broken pedals. Oh, it's so, f I swear getting a working set of rudder pedals. I've gone through three sets now. It's the hardest thing in the world. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, well, there you go. And I suggest also putting on a bit of curve on the rudder. It's just what I suggest, unless you've got like a really nice verbal set or something. But for the average guy, I would suggest that. Next, obviously, roll, stick roll, pitch, stick pitch. If you've got a small, less than three foot wing wing, I suggest putting some curves on. If you've got a giant three foot wing wing, uh, don't put any curves on. That's your axes. Next, starting at the bottom. Category, let's go to view. I suggest setting zoom in, zoom out, at least for non-VR users. Set them on your hotel somewhere so you can zoom in and zoom out. Next, we've got throttle. Things you will need, not all of this is needed at the moment in the early version, but cage and cage is going to be useful for setting at some point. Also, I'm not sure if this is going to be useful at any point, but it's always a good idea to set your TDC slew up, down, left and right. I haven't found a use for these three things yet, but there's no harm in setting them. Next, systems. We've got air brake on and off. At the moment, we don't seem to have an air brake on it, and I'm not even sure if this aircraft does have an air brake, but as I learned from the A29, best set it because it may get added at some point. Next, flaps, landing position, and flaps up. Also, I suggest a binary button for wheel brake on. That's just how I've got it to work anyway. So I've got a paddle on my F-18 stick. Everything else I've just left as the default keyboard commands. And it's up to you if you want to add gear and stuff like that. Uh, next, stick. So this is very interesting. There are lots of lovely juicy looking commands in here. Like main mode, like data management switch. But 90% of these don't actually do anything. We're not sure why. Maybe we're getting up an updated version or something. I don't know. But the only ones I would suggest that you need setting at the moment are... Bomb release for bomb, cannon, and rockets, actually. Gun, rocket trigger for guns, not cannon, but guns. And <laughs> strangely, it doesn't actually do rockets at all. It just does guns. And you trim, nose up, nose down, wing left, wing right. That's all we've found we need so far. Uh, the only other thing I would like to put in is countermeasures, chaff, and flare. Now, we don't have them at the moment, and I'm not sure if real Pukari ever had them, but I'm setting them now just in case uh, they are added at some point. And that's it. So literally just a few controls for Pukara at the moment. Okay, next, how to set a little Pukara mission up. So, mission editor, why don't we go on Marianas today? Perfect for Marianas, this aircraft is, for island hopping, shooting some baddies. Why don't we go to... Uh, I don't know, Rotor International. Let's go to Bukhara. So, aircraft group. Click it on that spot there. USA, that'll do for now. Find the aircraft type. Find Bukhara. Come on. There he is. Skill, make him client. If you want multiplayer, single player, you can use client or player. Uh, we do multiplayer only. That there, the type of starting condition. I'm going to do take off from parking hot. That'll be fine. Let's go to the payload screen here. And <laughs> would you believe it, an A10's shown up. Now, this does happen sometimes. It's uh, this buggy screen. So let's go try it again. Pukara! <laughs> second, uh, second time works fine. Very sexy plane. My only one complaint, I want that skin model on it. That skin, please. Stations. We've got three weapon stations. One, two, and three. Stations one. Bombs. Two. Mark 81. Slick. Unguided. 250 pound. Mark 82, 2 Mark 82, 500 pound, 2 Mark 82, Hydrag, 500 pound, 3 Mark 82, Hydrag, 500 pound, Brew 42, Rack with 3 times Mark 81, Slick, Brew 42, 3 times Mark 82, Slick, just a single Mark 81, a single Mark 82, or a single Mark 82, Snake Eye, Rocket, we can have 2 times, now 10 pods, each with 4 times 127 mil Zuni rockets, or single pod of Zuni rockets, or, in fact, I'm not going to go through all this lot, but you get the idea. That there tells you how many rockets, that there tells you the diameter in inches or millimeters, and that there tells you the wide type. You can all figure that out yourself. Uh, station 3, exactly the same, and Station 2, we have a slight change in the bombs and the addition of a £1,000 uh, low drag Mark 83 and a MER 6. Uh, adapter with six times Mark 82. I only just found seen that myself, which is pretty awesome. Or a fuel tank, 
Finally, stations four and five, the only thing we can choose is pods and Bukhara 20 there, which kind of adds the 20 mil Hispano guns, as you can see there, which I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want them on. Uh, that's it. Welcome back. We're in a pair of cold, dark Pukaras here. Simba is on my left. Let's start. So, first of all, Batteria. Vuelo. Fly. Left click. Up position. Next, I like to turn my interior rear stat on uh, so I can actually see what I'm doing. It's a very dark copy like all these mods. Next, Oxygen on. Right click. Next, Fuel Valves open. Right click. Right click. Right click. Right click. Next, fuel pumps on. C, I love it, it says C or no. C and C. Next, throttle to crank position. So right click about here twice. It can be a little bit annoying as you can see. There we go, that kind of two notches up with right click. Next, crank left. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't matter which way you do them, uh, which order. So right click, hold, right click. Look at the baby spin and watch our taco which is back gauge there rpm wait until it's 30 percent and then it's self-sustaining and release right click crank right engine hold wait until 30 percent we're starting our twin turbo maca turboprop engines each about 970 sharp horsepower self-sustaining release okay next we're going to keep an eye on these two panels here left engine right engine we want all of the lights to go out we will wait until all of the lights have gone out we're good next we usually do this in the air but just to uh, save time master arm for the weapons on and green light shows also i'm going to close the canopy because i'm aware it's getting a bit loud next light panel we've got here panel brightness yes on we've got nav lights down is on up is off so down and we've got strobe down we've got gun sight on we've got taxi light on landing light can stay off rio stat we've already done and finally formation bright dimmer off we're going to go to bright and that's everything on that panel strangely note that the nav lights are white on both wingtips now i thought you had to have green and red so i'd love to know your thoughts why that is next right panel pito on that guy there c defrost propeller i don't know which regime this is going to be relevant to so i just defrost propeller just in case c next flaps ensure that they are down and fully down trim the primary adi use mouse scroll wheel Next, you've got your altimeter that you can zero if you want, or you can leave it to uh, sea level. And finally, we want to do our parking brake, turn it off. So it's currently Bernardo, it's on. We want to left click, left click. It's now Libra. It's now free. And that is a fully started Bukhara ready to taxi. Next, let's buzz around the cockpit and look at the passive gauges that work and the active uh, controls that work, starting on the left. Fuel shutoff valves, left and right, we've already looked at. We've got the fuel pumps, left and right, that we've looked at. We've got the engine starts, left and right, that we've looked at. We've got the uh, throttle, obviously, and uh, it's now in a position where I can move that forwards and backwards with my, with my throttle lever. On the wall, we've already looked at the ones that work on this panel. Here, we've got several hydraulic gauges reading, in, uh, reading pressures this one this one and these three here we can't actually work out what they are so we're not sure as in which systems they are flat position indicator full two-thirds third and off as you can see and flaps up and down lever there gear up and down lever there a backup adi attitude direction indicator there we've got our gear indication lights there we've got our trim indicators here so if i were to retrim in pitch see there I were to retrim and roll there quite a cool gauge I wish I had that in all their craft this guy is non-functional canopy up and down armament panel master arm on and off non-functional weapon selector I get it non is off cannon is hispano cannons bombs is bombs co is rocket AMS and AMT are different variations of firing the machine guns next using the stores do we want to use left stores 
left station, right station, central station. Jettison, do we want to jettison? Left station, right station, centre station. Open it up with the, with the selected station and jettison. Next, chronometer or aviation clock. We've got our gun sight here, obviously our aiming reticle here, and we can depress in terms of milliradians here. This will be useful for firing rockets, guns, and dropping bombs with regards to depression tables, which we do not have access to at the moment. Next, left engine, right engine caution indicator lights, and general caution indicator lights. Next, speedometer in knots indicated airspeed. Next, navigation VOR. This is going to allow us to navigate to radio beacons not working at the moment. This guy down here, can't work out what he is. Let me know if you know what he is. Next, ADI, main attitude director indicator. Let's just know our pitch and our roll and we can calibrate it and cage it as required. Your slip indicator, currently not working. HSI, horizontal situation indicator with adjustable course line, there we go. And we've got a radio needle as well, which is currently not functional. Next, barometric altimeter in hundreds of feet with thousands of feet shown there and the ability to set the air pressure as required. Next, VVI or VSI, vertical speed indicator up or down thousands of feet per minute. Next up here, we've got some uh, more indicators slash caution. You see there. Next, torque left engine, torque right engine, percent times 10. Next, we've got the taco, the speed of the engine, uh, left and right in, uh, it's actually in RPM, although I think it might actually be percent RPM. Yes, it is percent RPM. Next, EGT, exhaust gas temperature, left engine, right engine, times 100 degrees Celsius. Next, fuel burn rate we think it's pounds per hour times 10 but we stand to be corrected on the unit next the pitch of the prop blades as far as we're aware that's all automatic next left engine right engine oil temperature times 10 degrees celsius next temperature of the fuel left engine right engine degrees celsius next bingo warning lights current fuel level left and right next liquid oxygen quantity no idea why it says zero so i'll leave that there all of this is non-functional uh, we've got some multimeters voltmeter there and amp meter there next oxygen supply psi pounds per square inch you turn it off or on and that's all the control that we get there. Navigation com, not modelled. Automatic direction finder, not modelled. High frequency radio, not modelled. Audio stuff here, not modelled. Property frosting, modelled, otherwise not modelled. Stuff back here, no idea what it is, but not modelled. And on the side wall, loads of stuff. The only thing that's modelled at the moment is Pito and... Uh, actually, I think that's... Uh, and the battery. Everything else is automatic at the moment. As the mod develops, I suspect more stuff will become available. We've got accelerometer here, plus 10G minus 5G. Non-functional, non-functional, non-functional. Uh, missing an E2B magnetic compass. So let me know if you guys, the Valley viewers, can see that anywhere. I can't see it. Oh, hello, what's that? No, there's nothing. There is a rear cockpit as well, but... As far as I'm aware, you can't get in it. We're stuck in this cockpit here, and it's not multi-crew on multiplayer. Here, Valley viewers, now we're armed up with four times Zuni rocket pods and a fuel tank, just because we can. And we've got the 20 mil cannons, and we've got the four machine guns. We're going to go and take off and blow some stuff up like the Bukara wants to. Off you go, lead. In terms of flight model, currently released on standard flight model. Ah, my York slip gauge has just started working i don't know why it started working but it has uh, which means that it's not very realistic it's the type of flight model used by the ai aircraft in dcs it's just a very simple data table that it interpolates between and it's not particularly realistic and not particularly immersive the guy that made this um, is asking if anyone out there with efm external flight model experience can please take the code from this and apply an efm to it 
that would be excellent because we it would in that case have an extremely good quality free Pucara with an external flight model. I know some guys who can do ex uh, external flight model coding, so I am going to put it to them. But mainly you guys out there are the guys that can uh, make this happen with a full external flight model, like we hope to see with the uh, with the A29 as well, which of course is a similar aircraft. It uh, feels like the only thing that's really missing at the moment, um, as well as, uh, you know, just uh, uh, populating more of the cockpit functionality. Rudder to turn, not the best turning circle. Increase the turning circle. What I like to do is just damp on the brake a bit. Okay, two is ready. Holding brakes. Throttle up to 100. Coming off brakes. Bukata! One slight complaint, valid viewers, is the visibility is pretty terrible over this front bow. Or under the front bow, I should say. It's a bit annoying, but that's how it is. Rotating. It's faster than you. Wheels up, gear up. And flaps up. Gear up. Flaps up. Might let's head on this course for a little bit. Are you saying I'm fat and that's why you're faster than me? Yep. Exactly correct. Right, first of all, we're going to go for a rocket strafe lead. So as I just sort my trim out, I'm going to select rockets on our weapon selector here, which is Co. I'm going to select our pylons left and right that I want to use. I'm going to use bomb release button to fire them. When you're ready, uh, give it another mile or so. We're going to turn around, seek out some baddies in the jungle uh, of Argentina that need suppressing by our uh, lovely Pucara. And we're going to give them what we like in the trade to call Boom Boom, our giant Zunis. Rolling in. Look at them hiding in the jungle, not realizing there's any kind of cast slash coin aircraft available. And tip gap is fire. Oh, a little bit wrong there. Wowza, look at that. I have my uh, sight set a bit weird. Whoops. Minor infractions going on. Don't worry, Pukara will soak up that fire. Next, we're going for Hispano Cannons, valued viewers. So, cannon on the selector. Test fire with... Uh, turn off our stations. Test fire with bomb release, strangely enough. Yeah, that's more like it. Preparing to run in. Ooh, look at that boom boom. Oh, they're still blowing up. And running in now. Oh, look at all that excellent boom boom we did. And get some Hispano. Oh, out of ammo on the Hispanos. Got some though. Oh, look, there goes Simba. Nice. Going for guns now, Valley viewers. Four times. Uh, 7.62, I think it is. Going to go for the AMT. If I get it over there. Test fire with uh, uh, gun and rocket fire. Yep. I seem to have gotten a little low. You got a little low. Oh, Simba! You died in Pucata! You're going to hell now. No one ruins a good Pucata. Oh, it's got a damage model. Running in with guns. Uh, go and set yourself up for bombs. We'll take bombs out next. Okay, where are we going, valued viewers? I'm not sure there's been anything left to kill. We've been a little bit oddly efficient. Yeah! Shoo, took a few hits. Don't worry about that, valued viewers. Uh, we've had confirmation that countermeasures are coming, by the way, valued viewers. Right, we're going to go and uh, arm ourselves up with some bombs. Stand by. We're now equipped with three 500 pound snake eyes in the middle and two Mark 82 500 pound slicks on the outside. Uh, let's get everything armed up. Ping. We're going to go for bombs. I'm going to go for the outer pylons, the slicks first of all. Now, the way you would employ these as the way you would actually employ the guns and the rockets if you're doing this seriously is that with the sight turned on uh, ping, whoops 
you would set the correct depression here in milliradians uh, according to your uh, table but which we don't have access to at the moment you would then set your speed to the correct speed as per the table then you would set your correct dive angle to the correct dive angle and finally the correct release altitude and that will tell you exactly how to get a bomb a rocket or a gun bullet on target like i said we've got as far as i can see no access to any of that so uh it's just essentially dumb aiming at the moment and me being pretty dumb that'll work fine for me running in now with uh big bombs that so uh, will do me i'm gonna get any closer and drop Woo! And complete a miss. The annoying thing about that is, in practice, I hit them perfectly. But that's the way it goes in Bugada sometimes. Next, we're going for our snake eyes. So, wash, wash, wash. We're going to go nice, fast. Low. Oh, hello, hello, Lee. Uh, we're going to go fast, low, and drop these snake eyes with one bomb release per bomb drop. And uh, then watch their faces explode. So, get ready for this. Oh, you missed as well. Looks like we need some bomb training in Bugada. Or some depression tables. Here we go. Watch this valley viewers. And pop 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 and drop 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 <laughs> Get some baby Yeah did you see that? Oh sweet I damaged my own Bucada. Maybe not the best tutorial. Oh there goes Simba Nice Anyway Um that shows off what I think could be a really good mod if it had the proper uh, damage model, uh, sorry, if it had the, well, yeah, damage model as well. If it had the proper EFM put in place, I'm going down for some reason, I don't know why. Oh, I've got to have my throttle off. Um, it could be really sweet, and there's various other things obviously coming from the developer. I've got nothing else to add. Anything you want to add, Simba? Uh, so far, great first run of a mod. Yeah, really enjoyed it, and it looks cool as well. Hope you enjoyed it otherwise, and we'll see you later.